so nowadays we are in kind of the pioneer days of uh, Twitter, the wild, wild west. Um, it's a it's a time for adventure and um, good and danger and all that. Um, so. But there's uh, some security concerns that um, have kind of popped up on uh, Twitter. And uh, all major technologies kind of go through this evolution. There's first the early adopters, there's the utilizers that lead to uh, widespread use, and then the hackers and the spammers kind of move in in stage four. So, and that's where we are with um, Twitter. There's the hackers and spammers that are kind of abusing the system. So you should think about security, because bad security uh, will mean a bad reputation. And if you have a bad reputation, um, that means uh, missed connections for you. Uh, and you don't get the most out of Twitter uh, that ha Twitter has to offer. So how do these worms spread to begin with? Well, when you follow someone, you're giving them permission to uh, direct message you, which is a direct kind of an email on Twitter. And so that opens you up to uh, these messages uh, that are kind of worms that spread through Twitter. And the worms will typically look like this, innocent enough, um, just a message and uh, a particular, uh, usually just have a link in there. Um, and they look into some uh, signs of what a Twitter worm could possibly be because they keep changing so the, but there's um, some signs first of all uh, a typical Twitter worm uh, doesn't use these common URL shorteners uh, they use usually some kind of funky um, URL uh, with a bunch of letters or um, just something that you've never heard of usually um, sometimes you'll see a bitly link and so it's good to preview your links. And to do that, you can do that in uh, TweetDeck or with uh, Power Twitter for Firefox, if you use Firefox. Th this will allow you to see what you're uh, clicking on before you click on it. Also, uh-oh. <laughs> these messages, where'd we go? Ah, these messages um, have a, oh, OK. So if you do get one of these uh, direct messages, um, please inform the user. Uh, that they've been hacked and that they're sending out these phishing DMs. And, uh, disinfect yourself, if you will. First, revoke the bad apps and change your password. And these links, these jump links, are actually active links. And so, first, now let's go into. Next slide. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, for prevention, um, you can use DM filters. A really good DM filter is called social2.com. And once you log in, um, there's a menu down at the bottom there called uh, Change Your Twitter and Facebook Preferences. If you click through to that, uh, on that menu down towards the bottom, you'll see uh, um, options to put in automatic DM filters. And here you can put in keywords or phrases um, that are for the particular uh, worm that's spreading at this moment. And you can uh, choose different options to, for block them, unfollow them, uh, delete the DM. So where do these worms come from to begin with? Uh, well, they come from uh, people's accounts that have been compromised um, some, some way. And back in the, the good old days, um, you used to have to, to use a Twitter app, um, you would have to put in your login and uh, password. And this was obviously very insecure because then someone can just take your uh, Twitter account and do whatever they want with it. Uh, now there um, has been this new technology called uh, OAuth that uh, Twitter has uh, just come out with. And uh, OAuth uh, basically the, the control of the uh, access to your account is controlled at twitter.com. And so you can authorize or deauthorize at twitter.com certain Twitter apps. And when I mean Twitter apps, I mean things like SocialDo or WeFollow. 
those types of apps. And to, um, to authorize something, you'll see a screen just like this one, allow or deny. So, uh, short note here is that um, it'll tell you what account you're uh, authorizing. So if you have multiple accounts, be sure to uh, look to see what account you're authorizing for this particular um, Twitter app. These OAuth um, authorizations act as a permanent pipe into your account. So if you, if you change your login, if you change your password, if you change anything about your account, these pipes still exist. So um, you have to either explicitly uh, authorize or deauthorize these in the future to get rid of them. So to, uh, to manage these, um, it's under your settings and your connections tab. And then you'll see all the applications that you have um, granted access to. And there's basically two key sections to each one of these listings. Off to the left, you can revoke access uh, to that particular app. And off to the right, you can see um, what, what kind of access you're giving uh, this application. Read access or write access um, and give you some more details. So. Uh, some things to go home with, um, some action steps uh, to keep yourself uh, safe and secure. Uh, number one, uh, inform users that they are hacked if you do get these messages. Don't click on any strange links. Uh, number three, be sure to use OAuth um, to authorize these Twitter apps. And number four, be sure to set those social2.com filters to kind of prevent your um, getting these DMs in the first place. Thank you very much.